Hi guys, this is Liz with 143 Handmade and today we are going to do a fabric haul. Now I got this off of eBay for quite cheap. Um, well, I thought it was anyways. It's um, just over $20. And hang on, I'm just resetting my clock over here on the side. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. So, but it was just over twenty dollars, and um, for four pounds of fabric, which should roughly equal three yards or so. That's one of my cats jumping down. <laughs> so, I started going through it just a little bit, and then I decided to pop on here and, and do a video. And so, I'm gonna restart essentially. So they found these. This is this is I wanted to go get my ruler because I wanted to know how big these were. These have a little note on them. It says 20 crossed off and then it says 15. And then there's a few extras that match but aren't in the bundle. And let's see, that is these are four inch squares. So those will be interesting to play with. Some just red polka dot. Some more red polka dot. So the reason why I bought this particular lot, because I really don't need fabric. <laughs> um, I'm trying to work through my fabric. Um, it's one of those things where I need very specific bits of fabric to finish the projects that, that have been started. And this was one of the bits. Um, I want to do a French rose quilt. And I didn't have enough variety in my greens to... Um, as I wanted for the leaves. But as you can see, just this little bit right here will give me the variety that I was wanting. This is this is perfect. Um, so, cause this is one, two, three, four, five different fabrics right here that I can get at least a leaf out of each one. So, you know, that gives me plus what I already have, you know, and then I'm also gonna be doing a crumb, crumb quilting series where, um, I don't think I'm gonna do any talking. I think I'm gonna do just the sewing, like just the process video, you know, where you just see what I'm doing. And, um, oh, that's super cute. My oldest son, Joe, he would love that. I might have to hold that one out and do something for him for, with it. But yes, yeah, so I'm doing, nope, guys, hush. Um, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a crumb quilting series. I'm not exactly sure of the format and whatnot, but I will be doing a crumb quilting series besides the crazy crumb series that I've already started. The crazy crumb series is my process video for how I do um, the crazy quilts that I do for my husband and I. And none of this will go in there because this is just, well, maybe not none of it, but like not, not very much of this. Cause I really try and only incorporate fabric that I've used in some sort of meaningful way in our crazy quilts for us. Some more four inch squares, purple. So this is an interesting stripe, but arrows, but I don't know. So this kind of fabric is kind of hard for me, for me to look at, like visually it's, it hurts my eyes a little bit. <laughs> um, there's a smaller square that matches that. So, oh, there's my sweeties jumping up here to help sort. Okay, this is an awfully weird shaped piece. So the lady that I bought this from must be a, uh, not dress, but uh, not necessarily dress, but clothing maker. I recognize the, the darts and things. Uh, from helping my mom and my grandma, but that's stuff that I could never do. <laughs> so, hang on, let me scoop my sweets. Love you, baby girl. Go on. Thank you. So, um, yeah, some of this will be just going straight into the, the crumb bin. I'm kind of going by color, kind of not. Like, I don't have, you know, at this point I'm just kind of looking through it haphazardly tossing stuff down, but not really putting a lot of thought into it. Oh, this is super cute. And I bet these are some more four inch squares. Yep. So I have a bunch of four inch squares to play with now. So that'll be interesting. Uh, 
this is um, some triangles, but you I could easily fussy cut out some of these little um, pink flamingos for something. Uh, I like when I'm doing my crazy quilts or the crumb, even the crumb quilting, I like to um, sometimes have just like a cute little image in the center that, that I work from to kind of frame it up. So let's see. Some more bits. Ooh, some, some herringbone. I think that's what this is called. Black and white herringbone. That's a pretty good size piece too. It's like six and a half or so by four. It's a good size brick. There's another good size piece of this pumpkin fabric. That could make a cute Thanksgiving something. So we always have pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. I don't eat it. I don't like pumpkin anything, but um, everybody else in the family loves it, so we always make some. This would go with it really well, color-wise. This is really pretty. So, it's super cute. Let's see, where's my, I just brought my ruler in, a couple of rulers in. So this is, let's see. Almost 24 inches. So that's that's super cute. It's a pretty good amount to be able to do something with. And the sweets. You might hear her snuffling around in the background. She's got she's got some pretty significant allergies, and she's she's in the double digits now. She's not a young kitty, so she kind of gets to do what she wants. That's super cute. I would love to incorporate that in my Christmas crumbs. So I'm going to set that aside for Christmas crumbs. There's some tone-on-tone -tone black. I don't know if you guys can really see that. That tone-on-tone, -tone, that's really pretty. Some blue polka dot. Like I said, I'm really not sorting at this point. I'm just kind of going through it and then dropping it in front of me. Like I'm not really... Cause I don't have any idea what's really what's in here, so I'm not really sure what to do with it yet. Girls, that's enough. Might have to pause the video, put the dogs out. Yeah, that'll probably just be stashed. I really don't like schools. Um, some more four inch squares, I'd bet. And that gives me yet another, oh, not four inch. Those are just over three inch. These might be miscuts because they're like, I don't know, that's kind of an odd size because it was like three and what was that? Like not even three and a quarter, just over th like three and three eighths. I don't know, that might be some for some super precision stuff. I don't, I never cut to that degree of precision, but that gives me yet another green for my leaves. There's a rainbowy piece, some more pink. Pink stripe, a red stripe, strip, not stripe. This kind of reminds me of like that metal um, diamond plate, <laughs> but it's totally the wrong color, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, that's cute. Oh, some more Christmassy. That's super cute. I might go ahead and throw that in with Christmas, even though it's not necessarily yeah. Christmas. Some just hearts. Some more of this. That's pretty. Let's see. Some shamrocky. Rocky. So, um, shamrocks. A bunch of, of pieces. This will be great in, in crumb quilting because the black and white stripe and then just all the funky angles and everything. I really like getting those angles in there. Um, not everybody really likes the small stuff or the angles, but I do. I enjoy that. So. Um, in my crumb quilting. This will be great for, this is a good neutral to have for all kinds of stuff. This black and white here. Let's see, what is this? Okay. Women uh, bathing, dressing, 
This, this would probably be something I just de-stashed. I don't know, I might cut out these pieces. Those are cute. I don't know, I have a thing. I don't really like faces on, on stuff that aren't people. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I just, I'm not, yeah. I don't even really like having a bunch of pictures hanging on my wall. I love my scrapbooks, and I love looking at them when I'm ready, but I don't like having, you know, just faces looking at me all the time. I know, it's kind of weird. Some people love faces. This has a very retro feel to me. That might go with my, my ro for my ro French roses, I'm not sure. Oh, how cute! Pump um, not pumpkins, um, cupcakes and lollipops and candies. That's super fun. So, yeah, I have lots of options now for crumb quilting and all kinds of stuff. Uh, most of the fabric I have is actually not fabric I purchased. Ooh, that's super pretty. That's super pretty. Um, sorry, it's it's most of it's not fabric I've purchased. It was mostly leftover from um, my mother, um, my mother's my inheritance from my mother, basically, and then um, also from various other family members that have passed. And so, and that's, I feel greatly honored that the other members of the family, you know, trusted me with that and, and blessed me with all of this fabric. But it also, you know, I felt this obligation to, to use it in some fabulous way too, you know? And so it's, you know, kind of been a slow process, but I've kind of gotten over that. I've worked through quite a bit of it in the last year. My goal for this year is to be completely done with it. So that way next year I can start fresh. So we'll see. Yeah, definitely a clothing maker. <laughs> this is definitely the front of a little dress or shirt or possibly the back. But yeah, you can tell that whoever had this before was definitely a clothing maker. <laughs> I am so not. Anything that requires precision is just not me. Okay, so that would be the back. This would have been the front. I don't know which way that was supposed to go, up or down. But that'll be super fun to use in a crumb quilt. Because um, I will just, I will include that. I will include that, um, the ruffle. So, yeah, lots of greens. This is, the greens are the whole purpose why I purchased, uh, whole reason <laughs> why I purchased this particular one. Um, cause I really, I've been trying very hard to just use up everything. As I said, just kind of go through everything I have and, and use it up. But you do need a few pieces sometimes to, to go ahead and do that. Some more flamingos. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty. This is like a, I don't know, it reminds me of like a farmer's market. Oh, that one's already sewn into like a sleeve shape. So... Yeah, it's all the little baskets from like at a farmer's market or harvest time. Berries, blueberries, um, strawberries. I don't know. I'm not sure what all kind of fabric, or not fabric, uh, fruit that was, but that's okay. Some larger red polka dot. Let me see if I can quickly find. There's that other blue, po or not blue, red polka dot. Hey, I had purchased some of this. Um, I um, bought some of this um, years ago and used it on a, a quote for my niece. And I used all of mine up, but here's some more. So this is soccer balls in a bunch of different colors. Because I didn't know what her team colors were, so I just went with the multicolor. That's pretty. That'll probably go with Christmas. Let's see. There's a lot of fabric in here. Well, that's super cute. Watermelons with ants and on a tablecloth. Some pink and pink with black polka dots. Whole stack of them four inch squares. It's blue like mermaids. And some of this. open up some of these so you guys can actually see the patterning. So I can see the patterning and see what color it actually is. Okay. So that'll be interesting. Some of it's sewn together. Some of it's not. 
Okay, so that'll be interesting to play with. Some yellow polka dots. Let's see, some... Mm, is that navy? Yeah, that's navy. Not black, that's navy. Or maybe like a blue-black, I don't know. This is one of my favorite fabrics ever. I've, I've purchased this one in a bunch of different hues and I've used it in a lot of different things. So that's fun that that came back, essentially. <laughs> Some black and white check. This is again really cool for in the um, crumb quilting in black and whites. So oh, I think I'm about halfway done. If I haven't lost you yet, <laughs> there's some black with gold. So yeah, this is you know I'm not gonna bore you with going through every single scrap, but. Um, but yeah, I'll be looking for a bunch of this to come up and it, real soon in some crumb quilting videos and um, the French rose. Um, I am working on that, but very slowly in the background and um, those videos will come, but not for a while. And uh, But yeah, you will see that too. I'm going to be doing a lot more sewing videos and um, along with my junk journaling videos and I'm going to be doing some, I'll probably turn some of this into covers for junk journals. Um, some of this is really pretty for that. Just the right, you know, feel. Actually probably any of it is, is perfect for somebody, right? Like that's kind of how junk journaling works. It's a really pretty bright yellow. Um, but yeah, so there'll be, a, there'll be a lots coming up. I highly encourage you to, to watch the sales in, on eBay and be very careful though, because it's easy to get sucked into the bidding and you just, you know, once you place a bid, you want to win, right? So really look at it and ask yourself if it's an auction. Okay. If I was bargaining with somebody at a flea market, what's the highest price I'd be willing to give them? You put that in as your highest bid and then you leave it alone. If if it goes over that, then it goes over that and you didn't get that, that batch. That batch goes to somebody else. You know, don't don't let yourself get sucked in because you can easily pay way too much for somebody else's fabric straps. Um so I highly recommend being very careful <laughs> um on eBay, but at the same time you can get some really fabulous deals. And look at this, this stack of pre-cut little princess bits. That's going to be fabulous for, for crumb quilting. Yeah. So just be very careful. Um, like if this is even a piece of batik, a couple of pieces of batik or batik like, no, this is actual batik because see both sides are the same. That's how you can tell like it's, or it's virtually the same. So and that's a good size. So yeah, this is some stuff that will probably these this will probably turn into a journal cover because it's good sized. But so is all of it. But some of it will be destashed. Some of it I will go ahead and sew up and put into crumb quilt blocks, and those will go on eBay. Um, always go check out eBay. I'm um, you know transitioning and getting started and. Um, hopefully um, my goal is to have something new posted every week, a handful, like at least half a dozen new things every week. So, um, and a lot of my stuff is buy it now. So it, once I list it, it just sits there until somebody comes along and buys it. Um, I don't do a lot of auctions at this point, but as I get through and, and start getting some of the crumb quilt blocks up and stuff like that, those will probably be auctions like penny auctions and stuff like that. And what a penny auction is, is it starts at a penny and then goes up from there. And um, so yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and just, I'll be doing the crumb quilting and I'll, uh, my crazy crumb quilt, the crazy S quilt that's, I have the next episode um, decided and um, now I just have to figure out the angles for filming and so but it's on its way and <laughs> sweetie wants to come in and say hello so thank you for joining us and can't wait to see you next time